Hey folks, this clip is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Visit omahasteaks.com and type in promo code VOLS, that's V-O-L-S, at checkout to fill your freezer with enough gourmet food to keep your cookouts going strong into the fall. That is omahasteaks.com, promo code VOLS. Tennessee can, with a win this weekend, set itself directly in that number two spot, I think. You got to be Kentucky too, but Tennessee beats Kentucky every year. Mm -hmm. But like this weekend, you you can say like, here we are. This is the Tennessee's back game. Right. Tennessee is back. We lit we laid the smack down on Florida. That's what you're saying with this game. If you go out and do that. Go win by three stores and you can definitely say that. You can play a little Philip Fulmer soundbite and everything. Wait, so, sorry, I was reading a comment. Say that no. again. I said no. you go out you go you go out and beat Florida by twenty one. You can definitely say Tennessee's back and you can go play the little Philip Fulmer where the balls are back <laughs> sound uh sound yes. clip. <laughs> Yeah, um, I might personally not go for that, but uh, just because that clip makes me cringe like I'm looking into the sun now, but um, that would be funny. I'm sure people will do that, uh, but that's that's what you're saying with this game. You're back like you're going to you, you're number 11 in the AP poll this week. You'll be a top 10 team if you beat Florida and when Tennessee has not been a top 10 team since they beat Florida and they beat Georgia in 2016. Mm -hmm. Like you're back in the serious college football landscape you're seeing national writers this week i think they might be getting out a little over their skis tennessee has to prove it first but you're seeing national writers this week go like i i saw was it salee one of those guys put tennessee in the top 10 like they were like this is my real top 10 and tennessee was number 10 like people are thinking about tennessee that at that level this will just take you into that we are serious this is real tennessee is back sort of level when with that in mind Let's yeah, football game. Uh, yeah. Uh, real quick on the rankings, I think some people oh, sure. like to throw Tennessee in the top ten or top whatever, just because they kind of they know how Tennessee fans engage with stuff like that. So I think they it's an easy way for them to get some engagement with some of their polls and and takes. So smart strategy, you know. I don't blame them, but yeah. As, as far as this game goes, it's funny is uh, we both. We're pretty close last week. We didn't give Tennessee enough credit. I had fifty-two to three. You had fifty-five to three. So we we about nailed Akron's, but we you know Tennessee actually put up more than than we expected. How many times do you predict fifty points for a team and they they outscore that? <laughs> they Tennessee covered. That spread was fifty. Yeah. Tennessee covered. Hey, it's funny. I think it was Jacob Warren tied in for Tennessee said today that you know they kind of had a a slow start to the quarter first quarter but they still end up scoring 63 points he's like yeah i'm glad we've raised the bar from where teams aren't hope you know fans aren't hoping for 28 points in the game anymore they're hoping for 28 points in the first quarter and so we've they've kind of raised the expectations which is i mean that's where you want to be right like you want you expect tennessee to score a lot of points and if tennessee doesn't score almost 30 points in the first quarter everybody's like well, what's wrong with tennessee's offense and that's just you know all that matters is final score. But as far as Florida, yeah, I picked – I can't remember if I picked in the preseason. I don't think I have that here if I picked Tennessee to win this. Actually, here it is. I, uh, I did pick Tennessee to win this game when we went through uh, our uh, preseason prediction. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to go with Tennessee winning this game, and I think they'll uh, – I don't know if they'll score like they did against Akron. I, I think, you know, Florida's got more talent than Akron, obviously. And Just slightly. <laughs> Florida also, they only ran they only ran like 40 some plays against South Florida. So it seems like there might be less possessions for Tennessee as long as Florida's kind of like running the ball and kind of sitting on it a little bit, letting the clock run out. I'm gonna go Tennessee uh wins 34 to 23. 34 23. I like it. So before in the preseason, my policy for years now, going back to 2016, this dates back beyond that because I was doing shows back then too. My policy with the Florida game because of history is that Tennessee loses to Florida until they don't. So across the board, Tennessee's losing to Florida in my mind. I know it's a defeatist mindset. Also, I have been right 16 of the last 17 years, okay? 
that's where it comes from. But I and and we already we mentioned Kentucky there. I have the exact flip for Kentucky. You beat Kentucky 30 of the last 33 years. Tennessee's beating Kentucky until they don't. And I've been right about that almost every year. It's just logical to me, right? But I did say preseason. If Tennessee showed me an extremely compelling reason that they would win this game, I will change my mind. I'm not an idiot. Uh I said if they smashed Pittsburgh, that that would be the thing. Tennessee did not do that. Although I think they definitely could have. They were on the cusp of doing that. I think they were close to winning by two plus touchdowns there. If they would have just not made some of the egregious mistakes that they did. But really, to me, the thing that might change my mind now is how bad Florida looks. They... Like, they don't look good on offense. Anthony Richardson is not some Heisman winner. He can't throw the football. Um, and that's one thing. You also have Florida's star linebacker in this game. Their six-year linebacker is likely out. I think they said he's, like, day-to-day. But uh, I, from what I, I tried to look it up, and it seems like he's more likely than not not playing in this game. So I think you'll be able to run the ball. And... With all of that said, from tailgate parties to busy weeknights, the flavor experts at Omaha Steaks have made it easy to savor all the flavors of fall with their mouthwatering assortments of perfectly aged steaks, ultra juicy burgers, and easy to prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. Right now, take advantage of 50% off site wide by shopping their semi annual sale. The sale only happens twice a year, and it is on right now. Now you get 50% off delicious customer favorites. And when you use promo code VOLS, that is V-O-L-S at checkout, you get an additional $30 off your order. And guys, I've now had, uh, I've had the burgers, I've had the Franks, I've had the chicken from Omaha Steaks. It is all phenomenal. Comes in this great freezer packed way right to your door. Incredibly convenient. Uh, I, I can't say enough about it, honestly. So don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com and enter Vols at checkout and stock up on fall flavor today. Omaha Steaks is perfect for those chilly and busy fall nights with entrees that are ready before the kids can even say what's for dinner. And don't forget to use the promo code Vols at checkout and score your extra $30 off. Omaha Steaks isn't just steak. It is the best steak of your life guaranteed. That's omahasteaks.com. Promo code VOLS at checkout. Minimum order may be required. Omaha Steaks. Promo code VOLS. No, oh, you're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> With all of that said. There's a battle going on inside of Charlie right now. Florida wins this football game. 38 to 35. I can't do it. They didn't give me enough reason. I just can't. Just not yet. If if Hinden had looked, if Hinden had played complete games and he hadn't come out struggling in some games, because if Hinden comes out struggling in this game, that's bad news. That's really, really bad news. If he, and you have injuries, on paper, this should be a 15-point win for Tennessee. On paper. I'll say that. I know. Everybody's saying boo. I know. Look, I know. I know. Also, (laughs) earlier before the show, I had uh, Victor, another viewer of the show. He said, don't jinx us by choosing Tennessee to win. He Mm. said, I would jinx Tennessee by choosing Tennessee. (laughs) Uh, Tennessee. Yeah. Hey, let's look at Tennessee fans should just look at this as Charlie is doing his part to try to ensure a victory for the balls. That's all. That's all it is. Exactly. I'm not going to jinx us. Yeah. By choosing Tennessee to win. Because it does feel like I've had that policy for so long. And I've gotten this every single time. Everybody goes, boo, boo, no. Charlie's not a Tennessee fan. I'm getting it right now. Mark says, where's your gator hat? I know. Look, I know. <laughs> I'm doing everything I can, though. I'm wearing the shirt I was wearing in 2016. I'm, you know, the stars are aligning all the way around. It's going to be a crazy day. And Tennessee on paper should win this game by 15. And Lordy, I hope they do. Tennessee's not beating Florida till they do. That's right. just my, I stick to my, I stick to my guns. I didn't get here by not sticking to my guns, by not having principles. Okay, folks. I got principles. 
No, I, I, mean, I think it's, it's a fair principle to have. I mean, it's just like like we say with Tennessee and Kentucky. No matter how good Kentucky is, you're going to pick Tennessee to win. So, I mean, I get exactly. it. Exactly, I get you, it. I, I'm just trying to I look at it so as far, if, like I, I can tell you so far. Like if the Kentucky game was next week, Tennessee without they've done nothing to change my mind. That's a win for Tennessee till it's not. So here, and and I'll say this: in 2016, I chose Florida to win that game, and here, so Tennessee has done it. They've proved me wrong. I, I met my obligation to not jinx Tennessee. I'm wearing my 2016 shirt. I'm doing everything I can to help Tennessee, you see, and also choosing. And I think, let me explain that out to, I think it will be a shootout, ugly, and the Tennessee, the supernatural bug just catches up and it's a field goal to, to mm. win there. Oh, so you're gonna always gonna be like heartbreaking fashion, right? Like, well, I said like, okay. So I said that the o- the only truly horrific outcome from this would be like getting your butt kicked by Florida, yeah. and I do not think that will happen. No. In no way do I think that will happen. You are significantly better than them, a, a, a ton of different positions. Uh, th- their star linebacker is out. Like, there's a lot working for Tennessee. Anthony Richardson, Mark says in the comments here, zero passing touchdowns all year. Look, I know. I've watched Florida play too, but Tennessee did not give me a compelling enough reason yet. They're scaring me, scaring me with these bad starts. They're really scaring me. Like, really. Uh, so do come out strong. Do run the ball down Florida's throat. Do play good defense on Anthony Richardson. Don't let him uh, do anything but throw the ball, and you'll win this game. Don't do what I'm saying. I just have to give a prediction for what I think is going to happen. And Tennessee has smashed my hopes and dreams for 16 out of the last 17 years. So there it is. The best that I can do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll apologize. <laughs> well, I hope to be playing this clip after Tennessee wins all, all over Twitter. I, I what I like Zach, but I will be thanking. I will be thanking you though, for helping them win. Yes. See if Tennessee does win, is because I chose Florida to win. You see, uh, that is exactly what it'll be. Now, Zach Goodman says, how on earth does a shirt from 2016 fit? Uh, it's, ironically, I actually like lost weight and I'm a smaller man than I was back then. So I've, it actually fits like better than it did back then. <laughs> but I, I've kept, I'm not kidding. I've kept it around because it's that shirt. I mean, this thing is like pretty dingy. I wore it so much before because it's just like a great game day shirt i've sweated it has giant pit stains by the way (laughs) not to show that uh but it's i'm not getting rid of it it's a 2016 florida game shirt how am i going to get rid of that it was the best i remember after that game me and my wife we we no longer do but we we lived in the middle of downtown for a few years and uh that crossed over the 2016 florida game and after that game i opened up the window that looked right out down into the street in old city knoxville and i yelled at people and i was like go balls baby let's go you know and so i'm hopefully i can do that again to the neighborhood that i live in yeah there you go the suburban, suburban house suburban yeah suburban charlie <laughs> and people would be like shut up we're trying to sleep <laughs> it's only gonna be like 7 30 <laughs> whenever the game's over that's true <laughs> Yeah, I, li- I lived next to some really old folks, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right, Zach says Tennessee win. I, out of, out of honestly, out of necessity, I say Tennessee loss here. Um, I think I've explained myself adequately. Yes. But uh, any any other parting thoughts here before we go, uh, Zach, for the folks at home, our amazing viewers that have stuck with us here? Uh, no, I mean, just you know bring that energy saturday to neyland if you're going to the game uh make it loud give uh let billy napier know it's more than just a little louder in neyland it's a lot louder i like <laughs> crazy nug says if we have to do what we did in 2016 it looks like i'll spend another weekend in jail that's that's a fan right there there you go going to jail for the balls baby giving your all love it i hope tennessee wins this game so badly Please, dear God, some of my best friends are Florida fans. I want to be able to hold this over their head for an entire other year. That's all I'll say to end. Go Vols. Win this football game. Let us live the dream here, finally. Please, let Tennessee be back. Uh, Me and Jonathan Crompton will be doing our game day show, halftime, post-game. During the, uh, the Florida game, we'll be there. So tune in there. We'll give our full thoughts, win or lose. Um... But let's let's hope it's a win 